Today we will learn about the cannulation of to the artery for the red. And for this we need to start right from the beginning. We have this red in an acetized position and uh, one side or the other side should be cleaned with trim and red should be in this uh, supine position. We can start from here. You can make just an angle like this and over here you can just have a small prick or cut so that we may be able to reach the artery so what you need to do is to just calmly and slowly you can just make it a little wider so that we may be able to see the vein and the artery here we can see it you need to be very calm and very cool to do this because a small prick can make damage to the nerves there are a lot of small nerves as well as small yeah, you can see here fats. You need to be very careful while removing all those fats. And then there are small membranes. These small membranes should be carefully removed. Here we can see the the artery and vein are very clear now. So we need to go towards the artery and vein to make it some more clear. These small jellies and some flesh should be carefully removed yes we can see in here you need not just to you can say to clean the flesh but we can do it by just checking on the sides yes now they can be clearly seen but still they are not you can see visible clearly so we need to be very careful while doing this all. Yeah, we can remove the flesh from the from the right, and to make it more clear, you can just turn on the light so that it will be more clearly visible to you. One most and important thing is that you need to concentrate over here and here we go with the artery and vein so finally we were able to get yes, our required artery and vein but still we need to make it a little more clear there is a junction over here you need to find this junction because this will help you to differentiate your arteries and veins so here is the junction I was just able to find the junction and then you can just do it like this to make it more clear and more visible because this is stretchable and this is now more clear still there are little you can say flash you can just remove by the side and now we can see there are three types of you can say vessel the first one on the extreme you can say left in this position this is the nerve so the nerve should be removed it should not be cut down but just you can say on by making it side and now we have two things left one is the artery and the other is vein since we are doing generation for the vein so we need to separate uh, artery and vein we are doing generation for the artery so you need to be very careful because a small prick can make a big damage over here and we need to clarify the vein and the artery and make them separate you can see the one with the red color is the vein and the other with you can say uh, a yellow color or smaller you can say a whitish color is the uh, the artery so what we need to do is to separate the artery and the vein here we go you need to be very careful yes and that was this is now the separation now we can see in clear on the up of the 
this spatula is this is the artery while on the down is the and in red color is the vein so since we are doing the calibration for artery so we will make our artery you can say the main subject are visible now you need to what to do is to make clear there are there, is, there are y portion on the upper side as well as on the low, lower side we need to make it clear you can see this this is now making a y we need to make it clear and on the downside as well you can see over here this is also a y over here so we need to make it clear because we will cannulate over here now since this is done we need to put thread on both the side the first thread we will put on the upper side of the artery so that for the time being the uh, you can say blood should be stopped while we are cannulating so this can be done like this and this is now we will not just tie it but we will make it say, we will put a spatula over here this is our spatula and we will make it close spatula should be put over there this is not close so we need to be very careful while doing all this because if the spatula will be not tight there are, there are chances that the blood will come out when you will prick or cannulate so in the second portion we need to introduce another thread on the downside so that the down flow of blood should be you can say blocked so here is here we go yes so we just put it in the downside and we will tie this because we don't need any more blood to go on the downside if we will cannulate and the blood will come out so here we go we will make it tie and you should be very careful while doing this because we need to tie the vein as well as the nerve as well as the artery all together this will help you can say to stop our blood downstream of the blood now since we have our artery here this artery is very visible and clear so what i do usually is i just put some small amount of heparin to make it a little wet this will help you to you can say to make you a good scene of the artery now we use this small trigger or you can say cutter you need to be very careful while making a cut over here because a, lot, a little larger cut will damage the vein and you can say the blood artery and the blood will come out so for this purpose and there are many methods by which you can make the cut you can make the cut in the middle of these two Y's or you can make it on the upper side what you really I do is I make the cut on the um, the middle side so that it may be easy for us to make a yes concentration is required to make this small cut and we have heparin in 3 ml stream so this must not be very large or very small yes now we will introduce this here it is very clear that the the tube is much larger than the uh, the artery but it will you can see it here very easily and smoothly and with a good concentration we were able to cannulate the uh, tube into the artery and very carefully you can make it as much as it is now yes we were able to cannulate our this and you can see the blood is coming out but still we need to make it more clear yes. we will put another thread over here and then to make it more clear we can have another 
another tie over here yeah, so that go. our tube may be in good position yes, there we go so this was to make it sure that our tube is in better position and is fixed over there okay. yes so our main work is done we cannot open it because if you will open the drug will come out and we have already prepared this uh, yes so this is 1 ml syringe containing heparin and this is 3 ml syringe containing heparin so we will connect these both so that we may be able to get uh, our blood at our required time interval so this is already done we can move this to make sure that what side blood should come this syringe we will use to collect the blood while this we can clear this uh, tube so now we will make sure that the blood is in good position and in flowing through we will now open it over here and then what we need to do is to make it uh, flow the blood yes it's a very careful and you know yes now we will check whether the blood is coming or not this is first we will push the blood all the blood towards the inner side and then we can see the movement of blood it shows that the blood is coming out here we can take the blood we can collect the blood by this hold it here and every time we are collecting the blood then we will take this thing out now uh, what we need to do is to close this opening what we have done so far so for this purpose we will cut it these other sides of the uh, and we have yes we have stitch over here so usually we use to give it three stitches to make it cover because if you if you want to take the samples for 12 hours you need to be or at 24 hours you need to make it put stitches because these need to be healed and the stitches should be done in very polite way and carefully we can see in here that uh, we are doing the stitches we we'll use three stitch to make it sure that it works so the first stitch is done give it a good tie okay this is the first stitch and we will make it another stitch the same way as we did previously so for this purpose yes all this should be done very carefully and you know very politely because a small trick or can damage the vein or you can say the artery of this rat the more you are careful the more you can good, have good results and now we will have the final stitch job is done it is almost finished so we will make it a little clean and clear and then we will check the flow of blood once again by pushing it in here and we can see that the blood is still you know in the flowing position now we will close by moving this we can close any option or any you can say now the blood 
out from the outer this arch is now closed we can make it open by moving it over here like this now in this case the flow will be towards this side but if you want to make it clear the flow should be like this now it's only open for this yes and yes we have almost done we have finished our work so we make this video just to um, for the educational purposes of all the students who have who will be the animal study for the generation of rat rat and now uh, wing as well as in the artery and this work is done in the lab of physical and industrial pharmacy in Hanning University and by the group of uh, Pakistani student as well as the uh, Korean student so that's all about it and now we will take it very carefully and come follow me and we will put it on there because already many of our rats are cannulated this was the all about the study and this is all about our work so hope this will be uh, fruitful for you guys if you have any question you can follow us and you can ask uh, on our uh, website